what I'm pouring right now is Red Chair, and this is one of our seasonal beers. So, Red Chair, and I'm going to hand this to you or somebody. So, um, Red Chair is a Northwest Pale Ale. So, um, I think we kind of made that up uh, because it's a little bit hoppy, hoppier than a uh, pale ale, but it's not quite an IPA. So, but Red Chair is our seasonal and it's our winter seasonal mm. and it kind of helps us celebrate the ski season um, because the Red Chair is one of the last remaining uh, colored chairs along with the Rainbow Chair up at Mount Bachelor. So um, the chairs are actually red and you know it's a storm day usually when Red Chair is running um, because the other lifts um, are too windy to run and they'll run red chair. So either it's a great day because it's powder or you're really hating it because you're really cold. Um, <laughs> but this is red chair, which is a seasonal that we celebrate um, every January. So, but we're standing in the Jubilee Hall of Fame. So all of these paintings and pieces of artwork are from a beer called Jubal Ale. So Jubal Ale is a beer that we created in 1988. We've been brewing Jubal Ale. We celebrated 30 years of Jubal Ale this uh, past winter. And in 1995, our owner, Gary Fish, wanted the beer to stand out, wanted it to be different. It was the first beer that we put into bottles. It was the first beer that we put into six packs as well. So in 1988, you could buy this to go from our pub. We hand capped it the way that home brewers do with their beer, um, put it in 750 milliliter bottles and sold it to go. So in 95, it's a very special beer. So we wanted to make it um, stand out and make it different. And so Gary said, let's change the label every year. So now every year we change the label. We commission an artist to do an original piece of artwork that is ours and then we take the artwork and we turn it into the label. So these are all of the labels from 1995 to 2014 and 2015 and 16 are on the way out and 2017 uh, is downstairs. So they're all a little bit different. This one is a beeswax painting. So this one is definitely done in a different style. Uh, Lisa and Lori Lubsmeyer, that 2014 is a quilt. So that's a quilt one on the top. They're all different, uh, different styles and um, all a local or regional artist. And it changes every year. It's something that if you're a Central Oregonian, you look forward to it because um, it's, you may know the person who is the artist or you may know um, of the artist or through seven degrees of separation, it may be your cousin, who knows. <laughs> so this is uh, the Jubilee Hall of Fame. A lot of people will end up collecting the bottles. We have all of the bottles from 1988 um, and uh, to the current year. And so a lot of people will definitely collect the bottles, um, collect the labels. Um, yeah, it's definitely a, uh, and it's a labor of love for us because you have to get your label approved from every liquor commission from every state that you sell your beer in. So in order to change a label every year, it is definitely a, uh, a labor of love for us. So it's not an easy undertaking. These are this <laughs> one is one of my favorites. If you look up close, this is old beer labels. So these are old Jubilee labels that she has cut. Um, into extremely tiny pieces and put into this amazing collage. So this was our 25th anniversary label, which is one of my absolute favorites. And this is the current year's label. So um, those are all of the bottles. And then uh, this year's was four snowflakes. So had you picked up a six pack, you would gotten at least four different labels because you should have had the four different snowflakes in the six pack. So And that's it. That's our tour.